Del Estoy, Monday morning. Hope you had a nice weekend. And here you go. Let's start. Let's kick off. Great weekdays. October 14th. Don't get mad. Help. Are you angry when someone's armpits stink or when their breath is bad? What will be the point? Having such a mouth and such an armpit, there's going to be smell emanating. You say that they must have a sense. Can, cannot they tell how they are offering others? Well, you have sense too. Congratulations. So use your natural reason to awaken theirs. Show them. Call it out. If the person will listen, you will have cured them without useless anger. No drama nor unseemly show required. Marcus Aurelius Meditation 5.28 <clears throat> Excuse me. The person, when you travel, you know, airline, you know, airline the person sitting next to you on the plane, the one who is loudly chattering and knocking around in your space, the one you're grinding your teeth about, hating from the depth of your soul because they're rude, ignorant, noxious. In these situations, you might feel it takes Everything, everything you have to restrain yourself from murdering them, just killing them. It's funny. It's funny how that thought come into our heads before, you know, politely asking them to stop. Or making the minor scene of asking for different seat. We'd rather be pissed off. Bitter, raging inside, then risk an awkward conversation that might actually help this person and make the world a better place. We don't just want people to be better. We don't. We expect it to magically happen. We don't expect them. We just expect it just happen magically, all of a sudden. That we can simply will other people to change. Burning holes into their skull with our angry stare. We are thinking it will magically happen. Although when you think about it that way, it makes you wonder who the rude one actually is. Is it them, or is it you, or both? Especially it happens between couples, uh, like married couple or partners, or children and the parents. Lots of times we expecting that magically happen. Woo, nice, good. And if things are not really going well, we just get pissed off easily. Simple, eh? It's a zero plus. I mean, the dualism. Right, wrong, good, bad. It's, it's so critically wrong. No, it's not. It's when things happen, instead of get pissed off, instead of get mad, like, don't use a mind to disturb your environment. Simply ask, what can I do for you? Is there something bothering you? Just simple. I know it's awkward because we're not comfortable and that we are actually, it's not, it's not about uncomfortable. It's something that we are afraid of others respond. We are afraid of, we fear of the other 
kind of responding awkwardly or madly or something. So that's how typically we go train. So we don't ask. We just put our minds in disturbed, pissed off, angry, rage. Today, if something happened like that, and if you feel a little uncomfortable, why don't you simply ask? Thank you. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.